सो आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ जोसेफ एस्टाफस लाइब्रेरी ऑफ क्यूंस यूनिवर्सिटी इट्स आर्ट्स एंड साइंस लाइब्रेरी एंड तो डायना कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इट मोर डिटेल Yeah, so this was probably our largest um library. It has at least four floors um from this floor going up. Um here in the center we also have student services for academic support. So if you need help looking over your essays, um then this is the center to be in. If you want to have uh tips on how to become a better student, how to avoid procrastination, how to prepare for your exams, we have free workshops here to help you as well. Um generally before the pandemic, you're allowed food and drinks into the first floor so the first floor there are lots of meeting rooms you can meet and talk about group projects but as you go up higher each level it becomes more and more quiet so if you want silence to concentrate on your studies go up to the top floor and now now we are inside uh, the joseph s staffers library of queens university you can see on my left hand side there is a huge collection of books and uh, you can see on my right hand side there is a printing zone where students can print their books and you can see behind me uh, uh, students are provided with the desktops to work on their home inside home assignments and 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 on this side you can see that they have given any quiet study spaces study places for the students and uh, so, so one thing more which is very important the they have uh, entire multimedia store for the students uh, to get uh, a look into into 3d visualization of the concept they have learned so dana can you highlight it more Yeah so this is only a small collection of our multimedia but on every floor it's filled with different books for references and encyclopedias we also have a very large um online library as well um along the walls actually there are meeting rooms that students can book um every student has a certain amount of hours they can use for free so if you have group work you need a meeting room that's there there's also the learning commons um on this floor as well so if you need help academically we have support there free of service and if you have um any it problems with your laptops on the bottom floor that's where you can get some help inside the inside the staffers library of queens university you can see on my left hand side is is adoptive technology center and on my right hand side is the seminar room so can you highlight what is this all about Yeah so the Adaptive Technology Center um basically helps you accommodate to your learning habits uh, if you need any accommodations technology wise the seminar room is actually where we host some of our workshops so if you wanted workshops on academic writing or study tips study habits this is where we would host those seminars So behind me is the Douglas Library of Queens University it is for engineering students and uh, and music students So so in Queen University how many libraries are there can you highlight Anna Uh we have 6 libraries in total and each of them are sort of by faculty um but that just means that the collections inside are mostly for example engineering and music but all students from all programs can use the facility to study if they wanted to